Good afternoon, everyone. It's Joe, Victor Echo One Bravo Whiskey Victor in the East Coast. Uh, what you're looking at uh, is my uh, new Bid X L band transceiver kit with the Nexion 3.2 enhanced display. Uh, the camera is showing it as a blue background at the moment, but it's really a black and this is more bluish. That's just the way my camera is showing it. But there you show, right there. What I'm going to uh, show you basically is uh, how easy it is to hook up the, the unit. So this is the uh, UBIT X. That's your Arduino. The actual display uh, only requires four wires. A plus five volts, ground, um, and two wires for the serial. So, in my case, I have five volts running here. And I'm using a separate five volt power supply. Uh, so that the Arduino uh, 7805 keeps really cool. Uh, you, if I use a little separate power supply, one of the little Chinese ones that adjusts the voltage to 5 volts. But anyway, it requires 5 volts, depending on the size of the display. Uh, of course, the current is going to be uh, higher or lower. So anyway, let's go back here at the back. Now, looking at the Arduino, uh, if you pull off the display, uh, you have the top of the jack here. I'm just trying to get close enough so you can see it. Uh, there, I think that's a little better. And if you look basically, this being the far end of the Arduino, your first pin, your second pin, your third pin, your fourth pin uh, is one of the wires that's required. Uh, in my case, it's the blue one. And the, um, the next one is not the... Uh, the fifth one but the sixth one so there's a space between the two here but um, or you could solder it two wires to uh, uh, where you're required to run the Arduino but anyway this is an easy way to do it just put a little jumper on it and then plug your jumpers that come right from the um, uh, the display and these two wires see here it's actually a yellow and a blue wire. Let me see if I can get a different angle here. It's just with the red lighting down below, it's showing it. It looks like a red. But these two wires are actually, uh, have the little jumpers on them already. One is a blue, and there's a space now, and the other is a, uh, a yellow. And they're really just for your serial connection. So you just basically uh, put the jumper in, plug those in, and uh, provide... Um, 5 volts to the red and the black wire. In my case, it's just over here, but uh, and that's it. There are only four wires, and you're good to go. The only thing you have to do is to run the version um, 1.092, uh, I think it is, um, which is the latest one that supports the Nexian uh, displays. So if you go right there, uh, that's the, uh, the current version, so you have to get that version which uh, may not be released yet, I'm not sure. It's coming out very shortly. Um, but in any event, uh, that's how simple it is. The beauty of this is um, if you've got an, uh, an, uh, a UBIT X uh, running right now, it's really as simple as just running the new firmware and, um, and then uh, providing the four wires that's required and you're up and ready to go. So pretty easy. Easiest display uh, that I've put in yet. Back away here. Um, again, this is an old Radio Shack scanner. Uh, a little quick tour of the rig here. Just at the front where I keep things isolated. and make it easier to get at the buttons in case i got to pull things off. The motherboard. Um, this is one of the little tiny uh, uh, adjustable volt regulators. They're only about the size of your thumb. Uh, not even that, half the size of your thumb. And... Uh, I just take the 5 volts and feed it directly. As I mentioned, I don't use the Arduino 5 volts because um, I find that even with a heat sink, which I've added, it just runs too hot. So, too easy. Just add another little one on the side here and then you're good to go. In my case, I've added uh, toroids here to keep things really quiet. The screen's great. It doesn't give any uh, noise at all. Very quiet. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Anyway, uh, an extra heat sink. Fan at the back because I run the FT8 and... Uh, and want to do whisper and that sort of stuff as well. A little bit of shielding between the audio. And again, uh, lots of overkill. A little SDR radio down here. 
and I'll just back away here again. So, get kind of a overshot there, but looks pretty good once you put the cover on it. Uh, it really has a nice professional look, but it's it's really a practical screen with all its uses, and uh, which I showed in the last video. This one's just to show you how easy it is to hook up. Four wires, you're good to go. Uh, two for the serial, as I mentioned and showed, and two for the uh, power. One is ground, one is five volts. Recommended you use a separate five volts uh, so that you don't. Uh, overheat the uh, 7805 that's on the Reduno. 73s, have a good one from VE1BWV.